So before I start this movie review, as you all know or heard, uh, we lost a and an iconic legend from the Marvel Universe. Stan Lee has passed away today. His brilliant ideas for Marvel Comics. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. What's up, everybody? Uh, movie Mania Nick here. I just went to go see the movie The Grinch. Well, the 2018 animated version from Illumination. It starred Benedict Cumberbatch as The Grinch, Cameron Seeley as Cindy Lou Who, Pharrell Williams as the narrator, Kenan Thompson as Mr. Bricklebaum, and Angela Lansbury as Mayor McGarkle. And the directors were Yarrow Chenny and Scott Moiser. So most of us know what the Grinch is and, you know, Grumpy Grinch, he plots to ruin Christmas for the uh, the town of and the citizens of Whoville. We all have heard that before. We all know this backstory to it, so I'm not really going to go into it. All right, so anyway, I saw this movie and to tell you the truth, I liked it. Um... It's a, it's a good movie for basically basically family, kids, basically people of all ages, really. Um, I enjoyed it. I laughed. There was a lot, a lot of comedy in it. There's a lot of funny scenes. I, I laughed through most of the movie, um, especially, I'm not even spoilers, but the beginning part where the Grinch in the beginning is walking through the town of Whoville, and then there's a bunch of carolers. That's all I'm going to say. When you see it, you'll know. I, th I was laughing at that. That was pretty funny. But overall, you know, just the part of, you know, everybody did well with the voices. Just the uh, animation from Illumination was excellent. Uh, everything looked real between the Grinch, Max, the dog, uh, the reindeer. Everything about this movie was, was outstanding. They did a great job of Illumination as usual. I did have a few things that kind of bother me. Um, first off was the, was, was the music. Um, some of the music was good, but here we go. From composer Danny Elfman, and we know who he is. He does outstanding music for movies. How he collaborated or did this, the Grinch song with the rapper Tyler was terrible. I did not like that song at all. Um, it, I thought it was bad. They should have just stuck with the original Grinch song the way it's supposed to be. Also, the other thing was toward the end of the movie, a little spoiler, but not really, Cindy Lou Who goes up to the mountain and he invites him to dinner, the Grinch. The Grinch says, why? And Cindy Lou Who goes, something about it's time that you stop being alone. Well, after all those years, he's lived in the mountains alone. And the Whoville citizens knew he was up there. Finally, somebody goes up there and asks him to Christmas dinner after 50-something years, as you will see. That kind of that bugs me. I'm sorry. That's a little too long. But really, besides those two things, I didn't really, you know, like. But overall, the movie was great. Um, I liked it. I recommend to go see it. Um, if not, you can wait on something Netflix, and you know, Netflix, not Instagram. <laughs> Netflix demand or something else. And now it's time for fun facts. Uh, this is Illumination Entertainment's second Dr. Seuss film after The Lorax. From 2012. This is the second animated film for Benedict Cumberbatch. The studio originally wanted Cumberbatch to voice the Grinch using his normal voice, which he's British, but since he, Cumberbatch felt the rest of the cast is American, he thought the Grinch himself should have an American accent. And finally, Benedict Cumberbatch's inspiration for the character seems to have been someone with a sinus infection, which means that's the way, he, that's how he sounded and the way he talked in the movie. 
And that's it, guy. I hope you like this movie review. As always, smash that like button. Hit that bell so you, we'll notify you guys when my next video is up. Uh, share. Thank you for supporting. And as always, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes.